Thank you, Madam Speaker. While the world is getting back to normal, these Liberals are bent on keeping Canadians from returning to work. Their punitive mandates and virtue signaling are in fact imposing poverty upon some of its citizens. This includes at least four women in East Central Alberta who work for FCC and Canada Post. When will these Liberals allow these women and all the Canadians they fired to get back to work like before the pandemic? of this pandemic, we made a commitment to Canadians to keep them health and safe during this pandemic. We have put in place measures to do so to protect workers and communities. And, Madam Speaker, federal public servants stepped up. They got vaccinated, fully vaccinated, up to 99 percent. And this shows that we know we need to continue to make sure that public servants and Canadians are safe. We are committed to review the current policy and we will come back with a decision. In this place, we see the Liberals play COVID theater with their masks, only to remove them as soon as they leave the parliamentary precinct at bars, restaurants and receptions. This as they insist on continuing never-ending mandates and restrictions. When will the Liberals stop their hypocritical theatre and end the mandates? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Madam Speaker. You know, it's very, very troubling to see members on the opposite side deny the existence of a pandemic that is still stealing the lives of so many of our neighbours. Just in the last three weeks, over 1,000 Canadians have died from COVID-19, and masks help and vaccinations help. And time and time again, we're hearing from the Conservatives that they want to get back to normal. And I want this pandemic to be over too. Every Canadian wants this pandemic to be over, but just wishing it so does not make that happen. We must continue to be vigilant, wear our masks and encourage vaccination. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Again, uh, it's getting exceptionally loud in here uh, and I'm having a hard time hearing the answer. And I'm sure that if the official opposition